Today's e-news segment comes on location here at our whole college book parade. It's difficult to believe that it, uh, next week we're almost seven weeks into term three. Wow, hasn't the time gone? Maybe soon we'll uh, have a change in the weather and we'll start to feel somewhat warmer with uh, the days ahead. Enrolments for 2018 continue to roll in with the magical 2,500 student level uh, just about to be ticked off. Enrolment forms are currently being sent out to Year 7 families uh, over the next couple of days. Our 2018 prep numbers continue to increase. We would ask that any families that have not yet put in their enrolment forms, especially for prep, would you please do so. Uh, contact our enrolment registrar, Michelle Fitzsimmons. Well, here we are, Book Week. To help celebrate, teachers across the college have been organising great literacy activities in their classrooms throughout the week. Congratulations to all the students who have participated in today's book parade. The junior school parade this morning was simply brilliant. Our kindergarten children join us today. They've had a really enjoyable week as well. Importantly, uh, our middle school students have got into the swing of it and they've come along today. We're very, very proud of them as well. Once again to the staff who continue to amaze me in our desire to be in the moment with our students. Your modelling of our book day uh, was absolutely extraordinary. Thank you very much. Well, the numbers are starting to swell behind me, but a change in direction, please. We've had an indication from the city of Whittlesey that they have parking inspectors that are patrolling our areas around the college. In particular, cars parking across the driveways in Painted Hills and Cooks Road. I've indicated in numerous newsletters that the number, on a number of occasions that we've needed to have parents be very responsible about where they are parking and allowing children to cross the road. I would ask for your cooperation in this matter. Last Monday evening I had the opportunity to attend the Hazel Glen Scout Group's annual meeting and presentation ceremony held in our Scout Centre. The evening was a great success. It was fantastic to see the significant growth in our group over the last three months in particular. Importantly, for those aware, a new Scout Centre has been built on our college site. This is a state-of-the-art facility and a building that coexists with our out-of-school hours care program. I would encourage all parents interested in their son or daughter joining the Hazel Glen Scout Group, uh, which currently made up of Joeys and Cubs, to contact the group, hear the details about the programs and become involved in this absolutely fantastic opportunity for our students. Congratulations to our girls netball teams that have been taking the competition by storm. Last week our year seven and eight girls teams played off in the Northwest Metropolitan Regional Finals. Our year seven girls won the competition and will now represent Hazel Glen College at the state finals to be held early in September. Our year eight girls were just pipped at the post but put on an absolutely fantastic effort. A huge congratulations to both teams and a special thank you to our teachers who have given up their time, Karina Kuffner and Jacinda Dwight. The great dedication through lunchtime to provide an opportunity to coach the teams. We wish them all the best. Now, here we are. The moment has arrived.